Hey there guys, this is Mo Carlos here and today we're going to be talking about the new operating system that was announced yesterday from Conical. Now this is a new kind of operating system, well it's been on the desktop for quite a while, it's called Ubuntu and it's based off Linux. The Ubuntu OS is basically free and it's another alternative from using Windows or Mac OS X. It's quite more difficult to install on the Mac computers. So I'm not quite sure since I don't have a Mac. Alright, the Ubuntu Mobile OS that was announced is well, it's going to have a nice little port and you're going to be able to port it over to your Android device. So, for example, the Galaxy Nexus. You're going to be able to use it and there's going to be an image to flash on it. Since devices won't start shipping out in early 13 with the operating system installed already on it. Now, Bluetooth for Android will let users install the OS on their device and when they dock it, they're able to use a full desktop experience since it's based off the Android kernel and its driver. The Ubuntu OS will support x86 and ARM processors and will be able to run web and HTML5 applications. Well, iOS and Android, well, it looks like you guys are going to have some serious competition this year. It's going to be a great battle between Brand, iOS, Android, and Windows Phone 8. Right now, the overall UI of the Ubuntu OS phone is pretty elegant and it's, I love its simplicity of how it uses multi-touch and since it doesn't feature any navigation keys well on the Galaxy Nexus for so which they demo the OS on. So this is very convenient for people who like to use one hand to do everything on their phones. The UI kind of looks like WebOS and Mingo hooked up and kind of had a baby. Yeah. One of the biggest things I did notice in the OS is that multitasking is amazing on it since with a simple gesture of just swiping you can view your apps and also view the apps that you currently have installed. So the swiping gestures will play a big role in this operating system. It's actually easier to use just with one hand, just swipe around, swipe, 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 swipe. My thoughts about the OS is most likely going to see and it's always fun to see different kind of operating systems in the market. I'm really loving the interface of the OS and since it's Ubuntu, it's open source so that means there's more free applications and you know it gives us a variety of different apps to try. This is finally going to push innovators to do something different. Yes, I'm looking at you. You know who I'm talking about. Now Nexus 4 users must be really jealous of us right now since us Galaxy Nexus users will be getting Ubuntu this month for our Galaxy Nexus. What do you think now? I'm jealous now, aren't you? Aren't you? Yeah, go sell that Nexus 4 that sold out in the Play Store. Go sell it. But don't worry, as soon as this is released, I'm going to have an instruction guide and a full review on the Ubuntu OS. So you guys just keep waiting on that. So what do you guys think about the Ubuntu Mobile OS? Is it going to succeed? You love it? Hate it? Leave your comments down below and tell me what you guys think about it. Also, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more future content. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.